So, um, Kennedy, Franklin. Um, uh, here in Kisumu. I want to talk on uh, Rudolph's visit that is scheduled in Nyanza. First of all, it is a good move that the president is visiting Nyanza. And this is a clear show that Nyanza is also part of Kenya. And being that the president is for Kenya, therefore, he should be given an opportunity to exercise the freedom of movement and freedom of association. Secondly, I want to say that Nyanza people are also giving this government revenue. We are paying taxes and therefore we cannot look at it or negative perspective the tour that uh, Ruto has scheduled in Nyanza. I want to say that it's a great move. But one thing that I want to also challenge him with, it is not just a matter of launching those projects. I've read in uh, his schedule, he will be visiting Oma Bay, Paya, he's going to some farms, he's going to Nyando, he's coming to Kisumu for Lake Basin, he's going to Bondo to launch Leunda, Leunda, Kopolo Road, he's going to game to meet Elisha, and then uh, in his schedule it's also in included an um, opening or commissioning some uh, UBA headquarter offices. Fine, it might not be bad, but let us not do these things for the sake of finding time to tour places. We ask ourselves, what is it that this tour is going to, 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 to yield to the people of Nyanza? So let it not just be a matter of touring. We have been seeing President touring here and there and launching projects, not ending with launching projects. It is launching these projects and allocating money. After you shall have allocated money towards this project, you will have also to make follow-ups that the money that I allocated on this project that I launched, is it taking me to an account? Is this money going to the right place? Otherwise, we are just going to launch those projects, but at the end of the day, the, the, the next president will also launch the same, same project but there is nothing that these projects are, shall have yield. So I want to urge uh, Ruto that if you are launching this project, ensure there is a project that is going to create a positive impact to the residents of Nyanza who are equally subscribing to the taxation. They are paying revenue. And I want to urge our people of Nyanza, let us remain united. I also want to urge my brother Eli Udowalo and those our sons who are working with Ruto, do it in a good way. Let us do it in a good way. This is the time that you are going to get certain things, certain benefits. If you are there, be there as a messenger, be there as a representative. Don't be there as somebody who kind of wants to just play side shows because we are going to at the end of the day, we are going to ask you, you are with the government, aside of showing pride, what is it that you did to the people from Nyanza? Elections come, elections go, but what the voters would want to, to see, are we making progress? Are we making progress in development? So me, I don't really have a negative view on the tour from Ruto in Nyanza. But this coming should also not divide us. We are a community, we are the Luos, we are known for unity and we know what is wrong and what is the Luos are not betrayers. So the fact that now there are some of us who are working with the government, that is theirs. It's not bad to work with the government. Let you work with the government and you are going to be held accountable because by the time that you are working with the government, what is it? I would want you to emulate the good example of Tuju. When Tuju was with Kibaki, Tuju changed the face of Prarieda. When Nyongo was in the government of uh, Uru Kenyatta, the government of Kibaki, we saw what he did. 
So the same should also equally apply to the likes of my friends Walo, the likes of uh, 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 Molo. You are our sons. The fact still remains that you are the Luo sons. When you go there, it's not a matter of showing pride that you are there. It's a matter of taking responsibility and being accountable. We want to see those things that you are claiming that you, the government is working. Let it not just be a bubble kind of a talk. We want to see the practicals that Ruto came, this is what he launched, and it is now on the going and it is yielding fruit. It is not just like coming and launching the project and going. We want to see those projects yielding fruits to the people of Nyanza. Thank you. The Luos are known for welcoming visitors. When a visitor visits you at home, you don't fight a visitor. You welcome a visitor is when now you are going to talk about what you don't want to see after the visitor shall have gone. The world is not ending. Kenya is not ending because now Ruto is coming. We also have got our wrong things. Some you don't say when the visitor is around. But sometimes I always tell our guys that sometimes we need to master the technique of having certain things from the government. It's not a matter of telling somebody that I don't want you. There's a matter, a way that you can pretend. There's a way that you can conduct yourself. The president will visit Nyanza, but at the end of the day, he will go back to where he stays, in State House. So this is not going to change our unity here. What I want you to do, the people of Nyanza, is to remain united. The, the coming of the president should not divide us, and his coming should not spike in security. So we want to see a peaceful Kisumu, we want to see a peaceful Nyanza. Nyanza will still be there, we are there, we are the residents, even after Ruto shall have come, even after he shall have gone. So let's remain united, the visitor will come and he will go. So let's give him ample time to do all those that brought him. So let's not be waited to be blamed by the likes of our brother Sowalo that I was bringing this, but you caused chaos, so it never happened. We, we want to give them time so that when we shall be asking them to be held accountable, we will tell them, we welcomed you, but what is it that you left? So that is my request, my humble request to our brothers and sisters in Yanga. Thank you.